Hello, good people. It's your boy Carcino here, and let's talk about it. Welcome back to One Crack News. And as I tell you things, it the truth always takes time for people to prove me right. And well, 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 well. <laughs> the Trump administration has imposed a 10% import tariff on all total goods of 500 billion of goods made in China. And to increase in 2019 as the tariffs will go to, into effect September the 24th. Now, while the tariffs will affect a multitude of industries, this is exactly what I told you was going to happen. Where you were going to see a, draw, a line drawn in the sand and they were going to have to come to some sort of understanding. Because that's what's going to hurt you the most. So people like Apple. Mm-hmm. You guys have been concerned about... The trade war, <laughs> I know you guys have been. All you iPhone XS, I want to get these new super designer phones and can't live without the next phone. All you guys, yeah. This is where the prices and all this stuff was going to hurt, hurt China or hurt the United States one way or another. So this is going to hurt both sides. Can you imagine if they Apple do a launch and people in the United States can't get an Apple phone? Hmm? See, I told you things like this were going to come to a head. Apple assembles its devices, all of them in China, which would make them subject to tariffs. And that could have added a cost that would have likely made the already expensive phone even more expensive. You guys have bought it anyway. So Tim Cook can now breathe a sigh of relief because the trade department included Apple Watches, AirPods on a list of 300 products exempt from the tariffs. Now you can get the new Apple Watch Series 4 while it's hot. <laughs> but don't think Apple is out the woods just yet. You know, at every step of a trade war, China has vowed to retaliate in kind. And that's bad news for the iPhone people. People are saying that Beijing is considering to do some retaliatory restrictions on their sales as well. So when they come with that retaliatory of restrictions on certain materials that Apple may need to produce an iPhone. So while the Trump administration might not specifically say tax the iPhone imports in the future, Apple could still, you know, pay the price for the Trump trade war through its dealing with China. So Apple and Tim Cook has been an attempt to persuade Trump for months that the tariffs were bad for the company and American businesses. See, this is scaring Apple because last week, Apple, what did I tell you? They sent a letter to the U.S. trade representatives opposing all of the tariffs. Cook has been begging Trump and Trump even at one point promised that Apple products would not be affected. And they were like, thank you, thank you, thank you. But the word of our president of the United States of America. You're going to hold on to that? <laughs> so no one has been certain about what Trump's trade war would really mean for the giant company of Apple. But all you customers 
and everybody else, this has been encouraging news for you Apple fans. Trump has once again promised Tim Cook that they're going to do their part. But China could do something very drastic. Then your XX Max and your iPhone ISs or XS or whatever that stuff is, you guys would be affected. So once again, Carcino was right. He saw the writing on the wall. As soon as the word tariff came out of everybody's mouth, I told you the biggest hits would be agriculture, people who grow actual fruit and vegetables and import it, the companies in Maine, the shipping industry. Those would be the biggest hits right next to the biggest change that would affect is tech. You know, all the tech companies who make these iPhones and I think they're not from here. So when it's imported in and that's what people seem to buy every day is technology that keeps Best Buy going. That keeps all the tech. Everybody has to have a new television. Got to get this. Got to get the new stuff. We need tech, 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 tech. So tech is going to be huge when it comes to tariffs. That was no brainer to me from the day it was mentioned. So when I told the information, people, were like, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, all right. I didn't read that. I'm like, okay. I'll wait till someone write it. <laughs> I love being right. It's gonna make y'all suffer. Cause in the end, we're gonna find out what really is gonna happen in this situation Apple was in trouble because they know they work through China but now China might make it expensive for Apple because this is interfering with their you know negotiations with the United States to end the trade war now if they say oh no Apple's cool <laughs> and let Apple through the door China get involved and they can say oh no you ain't <laughs> we got some stuff in there too that's involved on the tariff well you know what we're gonna do we're gonna raise the prices for Apple yep that's what we're gonna do or well, you're gonna have to move or get it done because nah y'all if you ain't taking all of us you ain't taking Apple Watch, I, I don't keep playing around thinking this 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 tech is going to lead to either the end or people coming to the table. I'm out.